by position, you know, you, you could do your, I mean, people are not usually as comfortable, you know, doing any sort of a case history supine, unless they're in a psychiatrist's office, but otherwise you're going to sit them up um, and visualize, but, but you could do your mandibular gait analysis supine, and then go right into your, we're going to call it OMP, active osteokinematic motion palpation. She's going to actively move the joint while I passively palpate it, but it's considered an active osteokinematic motion palpation because she's moving the joint instead of me as the doctor. So, I'm take my three finger contact, I'm going to look at her EAM and go right anterior to that. That should be her joint line. I'm going to just give her directions um, to guide her in the movements that we want, but then I'm also going to tell her, tell her, well, let me know if you have any pain or discomfort for any of these. So open your mouth as wide as you can. And close, and open, and close. And So as she opens her mouth, I'm watching the mandibular gate, but I'm also feeling the condyles, because I want to notice, let's for, for example, if she deviates to the right, what happens to the condyles? Does this one pop out a lot and move a lot? Does it click? Right? Does it vibrate? Which are all signs of instability. This one's delayed. If she move, go, if she deviating to the right, this one's delayed. It's not coming out as quickly. Right? So I, I want to feel for that symmetry or lack of symmetry. So it's opening and closing. Then I'm going to have you um, open your mouth a little bit, glide to the left, and glide to the right. And glide to the left and glide to the right. So I'm watching the deviation, the amounts, and I'm also feeling the opposite condyle become prominent. So when she goes to the right, this side descends and becomes prominent. Um, here's the thing. If she goes to the right and the left should become prominent, but I feel the right side become prominent, that's a sign of instability. That means that capsule is so loose, the, the joint is, uh, the condyle is not simply rotating in place, it's actually disarticulating. It's too loose. Okay, So palpate for that as well. And then lastly, stick your chin out towards me and back. Protraction, retraction, and back. And I should feel the condyles come out. right? And if it deviates, if she deviates to the right, I'm asking myself, okay, is this left condyle coming out too much? Is it clicking and popping? Does it seem like it's too much motion? Or is this one stuck? It's not coming out and still causing this right deviation during protraction and then retraction. So that's active osteochematic motion. Let's try that.